Are we recording it? Oh, wait, you guys can hear that? What are you trying to do quietly? No, never mind. Don't answer that. I started making myself sick. That date was itchy. <laughs> fuck right off. That's more appropriate. Do you remember Freddy's name? Oh, fuck nuggets. Yeah, that that would be bad. Uh, I'm I'm good. So many, so many. I, I why? Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I'm ready. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us under the library. This is an actual play, Call of Cthulhu podcast. We are script free and editing light because we build our story collaboratively in the moment. If you are enjoying our show and would like to support it, pick up some merch. You can do that at underthelibrary.com slash store. My name's Arthur. I'm playing Buddy. Emily is still out of town doing opera stuff. So I'm here with Wayne as Lancelot, Scott as Johnny, Rick as Sam, and as usual, our keeper is Michael. Michael, the show is all yours. Thanks, Art. Under the Library is a horror tabletop role-playing game set in the Call of Cthulhu universe with horror and other unsettling imagery. Not Safe for Scott is your signal the following information will be graphic. If you're concerned, skip ahead, but stick with us. We do feature mature themes played by immature people. So if you've ever considered, scratch that, if you even just know that there are Old Bay flavored condoms, you're probably in the right place. And I got to hand it over to myself this week to do the speedy recap again. Last episode, (laughs) we played a thrilling game of goat rope lantern rock. And the trio, after meeting the goat's owner, went through a rock prefaces and then found an encampment uh, where we concluded with Sam passing out. And with that, Ooh. we'll start a show. Uh, I was a little early on the, the thing. That, that ha- it happens sometimes. It happens to everybody. This is the first time it's ever happened to me, though. First time. It's never happened to me before. It, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> Should we start with Lancelot? I'm a little nervous on where Lancelot's going to go. <laughs> no idea what Lancelot's going to do to me. Uh uh well actually I need a uh, without an Emily cap, we need a we need a I'm like where was Lancelot last? I sort of have a hunch we were in the doctor and things were going. Yeah, Lancelot had uh l- last we left off with Lancelot the doctor had said a phrase and then Lancelot was very confused. Oh, right. And, uh, but he should have, uh, he should have made a role to add to, yep. oh. did that happen? Mm, add? No, just a lot of deductions happen. Okay. Roll a D10. <laughs> D10. All right. What? Was it, was it sorry? Wasn't there the thing where you said a line to him and he shut down? Yep, yes. basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Give me my pencil. Three. All right. So add three to your pal score. Yeah. All right. He's slowly, <laughs> slowly becoming Lancelot. Gotcha. All that's right. A- that works. So, Alrighty. Lancelot, you would be in a room with the doctor and Lil Amos, and uh, the nurse was possibly in the back, off in the background somewhere. And yep. you're just, you, you don't remember, but moments ago you were adamantly mm-hmm. concerned with taking Lil Amos offline. Mm-hmm. And, That's right. Yep. Yes. But now you're standing there and you don't remember any of that. You're just standing there in the doctor's office. There's a little boy and the doctor standing there. And you remember there was surgery. And you're a little, uh, for you, frustratingly confused. Uh, so Lancelot. Oh, boy. You want me to come back to you, Lancelot? Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, yes, I'm going to send you. Uh, yes. Okay. I know it's good. I know it's going to happen. We'll go, we'll right. come back to it. Okay. Uh-oh. That's right. not ominous so, at all. Oh no, I know. I feel like every week it's like, what's happening to canon now? Okay. All right. 
So if we switch back to the trio, uh, <laughs> Sam had just collapsed. It's around 2 a.m. in front of this campfire that y'all found, and y'all were talking to a man named JD. Wait, Sam collapsed? Yeah. Why don't I remember that at all? Because he got shot. Right, because he had had surgery and oh, been right, 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 right. He sort of been okay. pushing it and pushing it. And gotcha. Was not there and gotcha. It was it was part emotional defeat and part physical draining, and uh, he doesn't quite have the look on his face that Rick does right now. But Sam had collapsed. Okay. Yeah, Buddy would run over and and try to take care of him. Um, okay. You know, make sure he's okay. Check out his wound. Smack him around a little bit. Probably not. It's not really a Buddy oh. thing. Johnny might. <laughs> is he? No, I'm, he's, he's growing on me. Is he conscious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh, okay. just like he just got woozy, and Sam, you're you're finding okay. your footing and probably is, Sam, adamant. Are, are, are you are you okay, okay? Mister Wagoneer, sir? Near, sir? Can, can I help well, you? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. These legs will hold me. These legs will hold me. But 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 they didn't just now. Well, they needed they uh. The they buckled, but they did not break. Well, why, why don't you Why don't you sit down for a minute and and maybe have some water? You sit down. All right, I'll sit down. Uh, 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 so one of the things I'll do is I'll come over and I'll be <laughs> <My> like aggression. <laughs> no shit. Actively trying to help happens. you. Yeah, I'll punch you in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll I'll come over and I'll be like Sam. Do you mind if I take a look at the dressing and make sure that you haven't done something? You're for a guy that just got a bullet in you, you're you're doing a lot of stuff here. Yeah, yeah, fine. You take a look at my dressing and you address it if you need to address it. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna look look over and be like, buddy, I think he's a little punch drunk. I, I so I'll uh, what I'm I just want to do water. is make sure that it's it's not come loose. To yeah. start and make sure and, see if and it's JD overhears worse. this and and brings you some more. So he goes, somebody got shot. And he's bringing over, you know, like a first aid kit with some gauze. Because as you pull it back, right, Sam's pretty, pretty oozy and bloody in the gauze uh, from where the operation was. Yeah. You can see so I'll, I'll, you know, just just sort of clean it with some of the water and then put new <laughs> stuff on and sort of rewrap it as needed. Right. Roll sand right. in there. <laughs> I uh, I want to clean it so I spit on it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. A little goat fur. Yeah. Some goat fur. Is <laughs> I mean, I mean, Johnny, that's that's about part and parcel for Sam. So go right ahead. <laughs> I hear goat urine is sterile. Right? <laughs> you could tie a lantern to it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start me. Okay. <laughs> all right, so so you wrap him all up, and uh, uh, JD looks at you, and he said, "Do, do y'all want to spend the night here?" Uh, well, uh, you know, Johnny, uh, Johnny, Sam, do me a favor. Just tell us how you feel and what you need, because I, I feel like we should keep going and and keep looking for your wife. But if if you're not feeling that good, you know, I don't want to kill you looking for her. Yeah, that that would be bad. Uh, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm like a I'm like a bull. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I can I can run all day. I'm it means he's big and awkward and horny. Don't. <laughs> I, I well, don't, I don't like the sound of that. Maybe we but, should. Maybe uh, Sam should stay here and sleep, and we should go look for his <laughs> wife. <laughs> You could leave him out for the vultures, right? So, speaking of the vultures, how far away are the vultures now? Uh, make a spot hidden. Oh, nah, I just missed it. They've they've disappeared. Weird. Hmm. Hmm. And they were further <laughs> from where we are, right? They were sort of. You know, if we were going north, they would have been further north. Yes. Okay. And what's what's the status of the goat and the light and the rope? I still don't know if I understand that it's a week later. <laughs> uh, it's on the other side of some rock formations from where you are. 
Okay. okay, so we can still see the light moving around with the goat. No, no, no. It's like on the other side of a rock formation. But we don't see the lantern like in the air. No, no, it's not hovering in the air. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay. Yeah, that's it's because he tied a rock that. to it. It held it down. That's <laughs> right. That's right. We call that thinking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's something. So, it, Sam, do you, do you think you're really well enough to to keep moving now, or, or should we should we spend the night here and then start first thing in the morning? Well, listen, can't can't be that with a stick. I, I I think it's time we keep on moving. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> what you what, what do you mean you don't know what that means? That means we're, we I I persevere. Okay. I, I, this this little bullet wound, just a flesh wound. Okay, good. We can march double. We what? gotta make we're it to the other side. We're still on the horses, right? Well, he's not. Well, he we fell we, off we the can horse? get we can get on the horse. Yeah, didn't he collapse? I, I'm picturing him on the ground sitting down at this point. Yeah, he he was. I'll uh, have him standing now. Okay. Oh, I got. So you fell fully off the horse. I thought you like slumped over. Oh, I imagined he was on the ground talking to JD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On... yeah that's oh, what okay. I was picturing too. Yeah, I was. I had gotten off. I gotten off. Yeah. Whoa. You you don't need to... Yeah, you don't need... don't need to have yourself a conniption here. All right, I'm doing just fine. All right. Do, do you need some? You want some help getting up back up on your horse? I don't want you to to break your stitches. That that that, that actually probably would be a bit helpful. Okay. And then I'll you know give him a hand getting back up on the horse. And... Um. So the the other dude that he was talking to, I can't remember his name. You just said it. Um, J D. J D. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh Mister J D. Sir. Um. Uh, so you're certain there's no other groups out here camping? Uh. No. We we were the only ones that uh, took off from the town. Uh. If y'all wanna if y'all wanna get the full treatment, and we should have another one departing in two or three days. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. If, if there was someone who, um, are there any other places outside of town where people go for any sort of events at night, stargazing or anything? And he kind of looks at you funny. Ah, uh, I mean, not, not that I know of, unless some people go out in the desert to stare at the stars. There's nothing we plan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, Jitty, just for a second, like, if, put yourself in our shoes, right? We got a woman. She's gone missing. We were told she was with your caravan. She's not with your caravan, right? Anything you can do to help us and direct us, we got to find his wife, right? He's got bullets in him, and he's still he's still riding around in the middle of the night trying to find his wife. So, you know, the least you can do is maybe give us a little bit of guidance if there's anything that you can think of we'd really appreciate it because this is pretty serious for you guys a woman goes missing you know we got to do something about it now i don't want to have to be the one to say this to you but he wouldn't be the first man whose wife has gone and left him what are you saying there sir i'm just saying <laughs> That it might not so be not, not for nothing, but Johnny's face drops and he's like, Oh shit. <laughs> are you are you quite and I'm is... looking really quickly when he says that, I'm looking over at Buddy who's still near him, and I'm giving Buddy like the don't let him shoot the other guy look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that look is, but that's the look <laughs> I gave him. <laughs> look, next town over via the trains, Deadwood. Maybe you want to go over there and uh, uh, see if they've seen her over there. How, how often does the train run between the two towns? Uh, you can check the schedule when you get back, but there's one, there's at least once a day. Okay. Um, would it have, would it have come between like midday today and right now? Oh, I couldn't. Well, that'd be the train y'all were on. Okay. So there wouldn't be another one after that. Well, I, I'm just telling you, sorry, as keeper. I'm just, oh, okay. I'm, yeah, that would be. So no, that would be uh, that's the only train. train. It's same. It's the same day we got off the train. Everybody, it's been the same day. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Three um, months later. No. <laughs> it's the longest day in the fucking world. And so I, 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 I said, I said, sir, you're, you're all hat and no cattle. 
Uh, that don't track. Uh, she's around these parts somewhere, and if she's not here out with you, then uh, uh, she's she's got to be back uh, somewhere. Uh, uh, we we got to be finding her. Hey, yeah, I mean, let's. let's well, I don't soon. have her, Mister no, no, JD. Fine, can I JD. can I this show is... you this map and and it, you tell me if 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 there's any places where you'd look if you were looking, um, and I want to find the map that's that's not the current Bloodstone. That one that made the other, um, uh, the the person in the store kind of glitch. Oh, okay. Who yeah. had that? Wasn't it? Wasn't it Sam? Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, Sam would have had that map. Okay. Yeah. So I say, I'm gonna go over to Sam and say, Sam, can you give me that that other map? Yes, pose, and I'll I'll hop back down and I'll go over with you. Okay. And and let me just ask you, keeper, who's else at this camp? Is there anybody else here? That that's like working it. The, there's a bunch of other folks on the ground just fast asleep, and looks like they might have like really tied one on just by the looks of camp uh, earlier in the evening. They had a hoot and nanny. They had a hoot and nanny. <laughs> Come on down to the hoot and nanny town. Hoot and nanny town. Okay. <laughs> well, that got weird quick. Um. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we'll go over and uh, and show JD that map. So, okay. if, if you were looking for somebody who was missing, where where would you look here? All right, and at that point, we'll cut back over to Lancelot. Cool. Okay. So Lancelot's in the doctor's office, and uh, his, he went blank for a moment, and uh, he turns back uh, to the the doctor and uh, whoever else is in the room and. And says, "Oh, I I should be getting back to body bills and and my work. Uh, wh what am I doing here? Uh, I must have wandered over for a little of your special doctor help." And and uh, that's Lancelot, that's a good La idea, Lancelot. Lancelot, why did you call me Lancelot? Uh, what is your name? I'm going to go back to where I'm working. And Lancelot has a look on his face as he, as if he's keeping something inside. Okay. It's pretty obvious. And hang on, let me make a little, let me make a sus roll by the doctor. Yep. Okay. Uh, where is it that you work? You very very well where I work. You come over quite often, and I serve you drinks. Uh, I'm over at Body Bills. I uh, I need to get back over there and and change out of these clothes into my working attire. Ab absolutely, A absolutely. And uh, what 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 would my favorite drink be? Oh well, you know it's your it's the whiskey. Ah uh, no no ice and and more than half a glass. You have several of them all the time. You get quite frisky after several. Uh huh. All right, uh, you uh, you get on back to work, and I'll get on over there and get my whiskey soon enough. And once again, thank you, Doctor, for all your help. And I need to go attend to my my clients over there. It's always a pleasure. You're one of my favorites. And he just goes over and pulls the covers up over Amos and keeps an eye on you as you're walking out of the room. So Lancelot uh, walks out and uh, goes across the street or across the street, whatever in town, to wherever makes their way to Body Bills. He's in his. Oh, it's garden. just a few doors down. Okay, a few doors down to Body Bills and goes in uh, very confidently, and uh, which Lancelot never goes to Body Bills and uh, just wanders right in as if they uh, know the place and work the place and, and goes right upstairs uh, to one of the bedrooms and. Uh, anyone looking around, I don't know if they make any uh, comments or anything uh, coming in there. And he makes his way to one of the uh, one of the rooms uh, for the workers, the working gals. Okay. Yep. And he makes it makes his way into the room. And I don't know if any there's any other uh, folks there or such like that. And he goes to what one of the the wardrobes for uh, for Llewellyn. Okay. And he goes to the wardrobe for Llewellyn in the room. And he changes into uh, changes into the attire for for Llewellyn, who is a a worker at Body Bills. Okay. And what would Llewellyn's? Uh, how much information do you want to give about 
what Lou Ellen does at Body Bills. So Lou Ellen uh, worked at Body Bills, uh, but isn't there anymore. Um, but her stuff was left there. She she disappeared not too long ago. But all the things there, and he has her her attire, which is the typical Western Western uh, bar girl attire, because that's where she works, and her and it, that's her clients, and she uh, is there. Uh, but it's Lancelot. Perfect. Okay. All right. Then. Uh, okay. So you're all dressed up now as a waitress. Yep. Uh, he also. Uh, um... Here, I'll just send this to you. Hold on. He's updating me on the. Yeah, there's definitely a side conversation going on here. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So, so uh, Lancelot, we'll go with Lancelot, uh, aka Lou Ellen, uh, go, goes out of the room and looks around and leans over the rail and because comp moving completely differently, um, has okay. this sway and the sachet and this way of moving and. In this dress on, but obviously is still Lancelot, but it's very quirky. So all the movements seem to be right. But make a spot hidden. Um, spot hidden is fantastic for Lancelot. So that's just a couple points from a hard success. Okay, and you catch a couple of eyes of people working, pausing on you momentarily, like maybe the bartender mm -hmm. and. Uh, one of the dealers for for the blackjack table, um, they just mm -hmm. they kind of pause as you're at the top of the railing, leaning over and leaning over uh, from where um, Lancelot doesn't have it, but where um, Lou Ellen's uh, top of her dress and her bosom would be. He pulls out a handkerchief from in between and hangs it over there, over the edge of the rail, and just daintily drops it so it floats down. And lands on a patron's head. Wow, what's going on up there? And Lancelot looks down and says, Why, it's just me, Lou Ellen, up here, and gives a huge wink. Well, come on down. I could use a little lady luck. And he says, I'll be right down. You you appear to be the lucky boy this evening. And Lancelot makes his way down the stairs. In a wonderfully slow, mm, you know, a, a wonderfully <laughs> slow walk down the stairs, draping their <laughs> pulling, pulling their pulling their fingers slowly along the rail as they step down the stair one step at a time, <laughs> and then a couple steps quicker at the end, and turning the corner, grabbing the knob of the uh, the rail, spins around so the dress flings into the air a bit, and and lets out a little bit of a laugh and looks. Uh, with a wonderful look in the eye towards this person who had the handkerchief dropped on their face. And now that you're closer, the, the person takes the handkerchief and looks at you mm -hmm. and says, Oh, why don't you sit in that chair? Why, right next to you? Is it a chair next to them? Yeah. Okay. And uh, why, thank you for the invitation. I will sit down right next to you and what and, is your name and Llewellyn you start to catch glances shooting back and forth between the dealer at this table mm -hmm. and the dealer at the next table and the bartender and uh, something very well appears to be off in their reception of you and Llewellyn is is uh I'm gonna roll <laughs> an 89 yeah. Llewellyn is interpreting all this as a as affection affectionate attention okay. very much so and is the spotlight of the early evening and we'll sit in the chair and says he says cowboy would you like a drink and the dealer says should i deal you in miss and he says absolutely and uh he says well i seem to have uh left my money back in my room will there was there any other cowboy here will spot a spot a uh a young lady, a drink. I, and, and the, de the and dealer says, money. that that's okay, ma'am. The house is going to spot you. And he, he puts a stack of chips in front of you. Ah. And Lancelot takes the chips and daintily 
throws them back and forth from hand to hand and says, well, I feel awfully lucky this evening and looks at one of the cowboys directly in the eye and takes a couple of uh, the chips and hands them to the cowboy and says, why don't you make the bet for me? I'm feeling real lucky and maybe you are too. Okay. And so at this point, make a luck roll. Not the best luck here. Nope. Okay. And so the dealer uh, deals everybody, you know, their their cards up, and uh, you have a five. Hmm. We're play. Are we playing a uh, blackjack? blackjack? Yeah. He says, "Oh dear." He says, "Looks at the looks at the deal and says, I think there may be a card you give me that's going to really bring me some luck. I think you need to hit me." Okay. And he hits you, and you you get a ten. And he says, oh, he says, it's all looking really good tonight. I can only win. And looks back at the other cowboy and says, I think I need a drink. No one has a drink for me. I'm going to take a hit from the dealer and I don't have a drink. You cowboys don't know how to treat a lady. And just taps I the card and said, send it down. Okay. And the cowboys are, are, they're, are not the, the, uh, the patrons are looking at you and starting to really kind of eye you. And the bar, the the dealer at the table says, "It's okay, ma'am. We're gonna get you a drink right away." And and he points at the bartender, um, to to get you a drink, essentially. And with that, we'll cut back to the desert. That was amazing. So good. I just want to keep watching that. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Um, so, yeah, go ahead. Scott. I, th I think. Yeah, I mean, so I think unless something else happens, what I'd like to do is, you know, keep Sam on his horse, get us on our horses and just sort of start to get away as soon as possible. So I know you wanted to ask him one more question, but I'm, you know, if you look at me, you can see I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit worried that Sam's going to get Sam. Sam, -ish. <laughs> Sam might be shooty a bit. <laughs> so I'm, um, I'm a little bit worried about Sam's stability at this point. I, I, I will I will tell them. I'll say, well, listen, sir, we're going to be out here searching, and I'm going to point to an area on the map that's, like, directly opposite of where, I guess, like, old Bloodstone would be. Like, I want to look point to, like, a weird random area on the map that would be of no interest to us. Okay. I say I think I'm, we're gonna head out here. So if you don't, if they don't see us around town, they should probably send some search parties for us out there in a day or so. Why are you gonna go out that way? I just got an intuition. Just call it a cowboy's luck. Well, where you know where would you go if you were you looking know for something? There's nothing out that way. You got water. You got food. But you mean here? But where would you go if you were looking for the for this missing woman? If you if you had to search for her, where where would you go? And I sort of, you know, gesture to the map. And he he looks at Sam and looks back at you and he says he he whispers. He tries to whisper kind of out of Sam's earshot. I I go back looking in town. Okay. I'm thinking maybe she might be a lot closer or maybe she just hit the road. But it, where what road? Where where would where would someone go on foot? Look, sir, I don't I don't want to cast judgment, but if you were married to him? Well, I mean, look at that picture there. He's a very handsome guy. <laughs> Do I hear this keeper? <laughs> you can make a listen roll. <laughs> He's trying to whisper. <laughs> you're you're uh, a little dazed. I uh I don't know what this means. <laughs> oh, did I you got get a ninety eight? Oh right. boy. No, no. <laughs> so so about that time. Oh, it means you are one hundred percent going to hear it. <laughs> So about that time you hear bah, bah, bah. <laughs> Oh Freddy? no 
and y'all all like freeze and start looking up and uh the, the guy slurk like slinks back from y'all and uh he goes i'm i'm gonna get back in my wagon what, what was what was that I said that to I'm looking to right over where the lantern goat rope is. <laughs> yeah, right. well, so here's my question. Did we hear that like around us at ground level or in the sky? You heard it in the sky. No fucking way. So I turn around and I look. I look up. I'm looking for this lantern. I go, Freddy! <laughs> Man! Freddy! Do Man! I see do I see the light up there? There's no light. There's no lantern. <laughs> is and there? I, is there a rock, like swinging pendulously toward us? That's that's what actually takes out Sam. <laughs> uh, I, I I've start, got my gun out, I, and then yeah, all I, of a sudden you hear, Bleh! and it it goes silent. All right. Does I'm, it choke I'm on the rope? You're like, you guys stay or not? I'm. I want to ride over and check out where the goat was. So I'm starting I'm to ride go, back. I, I'm, yeah, I'm Sam, let's going. go. I'm going, Freddy. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Beeline straight over. Yep. So we'll hop on the horses right. and head over there. And as y'all are racing, remember it's probably what did we say about a mile and a half to where y'all came through. Sure. That's a very loud goat. I was gonna say that's a loud goat if it's a mile and a half. It's well, wait. Desert. As you're as you're on your horses going, you it feels like it's starting to rain. Oh God. Oh. I look at the I'm back looking of my down hand. At myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it it feels way too. It it has that it's viscosity sticky. of not. So, rain. It's a little warm rain. <laughs> a little warm oh. rain. I, I look up in the sky. Make sure my hat's and, on. And I and I and I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Fine. Make a make a roll. <laughs> this will be amazing. I hope That's, he hit something. Uh, this is how Sam dies. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, well, I mean, I I I, I got I got a sixty two uh, and my firearm, so my rifle. I guess my rifle sixty five, so it'd be a regular success. Wonderful. Coming off the heels of that ninety eight, that's going to be great for you. So, let's say y'all was Sam behind y'all or in front of y'all? I a hundred percent in front. Oh, see, I pictured him behind <laughs> us. I was completely behind. Because right. you were, damn it, he's about to. Who's he shooting? Me or you, Art? Yeah. <laughs> no, he said he shot into the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I don't trust him. That's, That's great, fair. right? Just shooting bullets straight up in the air. They yeah. never come back down. That's nope. a fact. They actually go through the atmosphere and get caught in Mars. In the atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> they, they get taken away in orbit. There's no bullets Sam? all over up there. Yeah. I mean, who knows? So y'all see a muzzle flash and Sam, you know, fires and he's. He's looking up in the sky and he's kind of looking off to the right, um, hoping he got something. And then all of a sudden you see a tremendously large shadowy mass barrel into the side of Sam oh. and we'll cut back to Lancelot. Oh, shit. <laughs> but I hit. <laughs> 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 that was me. I shot it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so wow. good. Everything's right. just, Did we just lose Sam? Did he just yep. go face down? Did, <laughs> yep. did Rick, the IT guy, just goes straight down on the desk? Yep. <laughs> Sam can't win. Oh. <laughs> mm. All right. All right, Lancelot is uh, at the table and yeah. uh, and sitting on the edge of the chair and he's pointing at the card and and looks over at the the dealer and and a waitress brings up your drink and mm -hmm. uh, says uh, whiskey for you, ma'am. Well, of course, that's the only thing I I like to drink in this place, Body Bills. It's it's the best whiskey in town. Well, I appreciate it, my dear. And she very smoothly sets the glass right down in front of you. And pauses momentarily looking at the dealer and then wheels around 
and then wheels back around to the table and says, can I get anything for any of you here? And and everybody just kind of shakes their head and says, no, that's and, uh And so Lancelot takes a chip in the air with their hand on the end of their thumb and flicks it across the table to a cowboy. And hopefully one of them snatches it and says, that drink's on me. You need a whiskey. I hope you get one. We can have one together. Uh, the cowboy takes the the coin and very trepidatiously kind of pulls it up to them and just kind of nods their head. I said, well, that's good. I just need a little yes. I'll take it as a big yes. Now you, Lancelot turns to the dealer, we have some work to do here and takes a swig of the whiskey, Lancelot does, and then pushes it slowly over to the dealer and said, why don't you have a little swig before you hit me with that next card? And the dealer grabs the drink, takes a big old swig, slams it down, and throws down your card. And it's it's another 10 and looks at you and he says, I think you've busted. And and uh, so Llewellyn pulls the cards back. Well, I might have lost now, but it's only the beginning of the evening. I feel good and I feel lucky. And quietly puts the cards back in front of the dealer and says, I'm just going to walk right over to the bar and have myself another little drink. And before doing so, uh, stands up and wipes off, wipes off, wipes off the dress and cleans everything up. It gets himself all all nice and said, "Oh, these these garters are so are so tight." And pulls up the dress with Lancelot's long gardener lean legs with uh, fishnet stockings and and fancy shoes and just on the left side, the garter a little higher. Looking around, he says, "Ah, oh, I feel so much better and more secure. I wouldn't want these falling off any time this evening." And sachets over to the bar, and looks at the bartender and says, "I'll have another whiskey," and wonders and looks left and right to see if there's any other patrons. Okay, you look left. You asked for the bartender, and the bartender just nods their head, and you look left, mm -hmm. and then when you look right, uh, Randy's standing there. And he says, don't you think you might have a bit enough to drink tonight? Who's, does uh, does Lancelot or Llewellyn know Randy? Sure. Okay. Yeah, oh, 100%. Right. So Randy's Randy's a patron. And a no, no, Ran Randy's the, oh, that's, you might not have been there for that. Randy is, uh, he's kind of like the 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 foreman of the whole place so he works under oh. the owner and yeah gotcha okay yeah. so he's a he's a he's a worker there yes right. sam's already had a run he in seemed like him. internal security to me yeah basically gotcha that's a good way to yeah that's probably a better way to to label it so uh so so lancelot luel turns uh, turns to randy and says so Oh, Randy, I just got started, and there's so much business to attend to this evening. I said, why don't you just settle in and have yourself a little drink, too, and and uh, with some of these other patrons and, and guests that are around us. And he motions for the bartender to send two more drinks their way. And uh, so the bartender sends him one and sends you one, and he says, why don't you uh, take a little walk with me out under the stars? Certainly, Randy. Your company is always appreciated. A uh, little fresh air from body bills is always a good thing. You know, a girl needs that. Why don't we go for a little walk? I think that would be good. Uh, so you can you can bring your drink with you if you want. And he says, well, I, I would think I will. And how about yours? Are you going to have some of your drink? Absolutely. Uh, and he grabs his glass and uh, he says, after you, my lady. And uh, Lou Ellen Lancelot takes the drink, licks the edge of the glass a little bit, swigs it back, and looks over at Randy and says, Oh, it's tasting real good tonight. How about yours? And uh, he takes a sip and he says, Mighty, mighty fine. And make a spot hidden. No, oh, actually didn't get it. 
All right. So y'all walk out the swinging doors of Body Bills and out into the street then. Okay. And is... Wait, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, just to, as they get out out the doors, just uh, Llewellyn and Lancelot will stop and just says, oh, it's a, I do have a lot of work to do this evening. That's what I'm hired to do. I, I don't want to be gone too long, Randy. Yeah, what uh, what happened to the gardens? The gardens? I don't work in the gardens. What do you mean, the gardens? I do visit them. It's a wonderful place, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You want to take a walk over there right now? We could take a walk to the gardens. I find them quite delightful. Certainly, Randy. And so as y'all as y'all approach the gates of the garden, right, you can hear the trickling of the waterfall. Make a pow roll. Mm -hmm. My now newly increased pow. Yeah. Oh, the increased pow. Even oh. with the extra three, I missed it by three. <laughs> okay. And uh and then oh. if that's the case, uh Okay, add two more to that pal score then. Okay, and I gotta. As th there's something off, describe it. There's something off as you get to the garden, and it's the sound of the water running and the mm -hmm. smell of it maybe hmm. um, causes some sort of reaction. Hmm. So that. Uh, Lancelot Llewellyn would stop, look around, and say, this is a, a gorgeous evening. I wonder how the the new pond is that's being put in, that I'm putting in. Oh, yes. The new pond. I should be working on that. Oh, I worked on it today, didn't I? Oh, Randy, it's so good to see you here. I I appreciate you coming to the garden. It's wonderful. Uh, where, did you just stop by for a short walk? I I did, Lancelot. Uh, can you give me a systems check? A system check? Absolutely. I will do it at this moment. I am checking through. It's always correct. Why do you ask? There's nothing wrong with my system. Lancelot. Well, you're not Lancelot. quite in uniform, Lancelot. My goodness, this is interesting. I was out earlier. I must have put this on because it's lighter and refreshing. No, that can't be. I wonder. I wonder. And this is where Lancelot gets a little frustrated and starts grinding their hands together. Okay. And Randy, why am I dressed this way? Randy, why am I dressed this way? And Lancelot, who doesn't get angry, says it a little harsher. Randy, why am I dressed this way? Now, do I need to take you down to the shed? The shed? Oh. I think I could get changed. I'm sorry. I didn't mean this to happen. I didn't mean this to happen. And there's a and... paw... There's a pause for a moment, and Lancelot says something in a different voice to Randy, very quietly. I don't think you want to take me to the shed. That would be your mistake. And at this point, Randy says, Lancelot, we'll do an eloquent systems reboot, full mm -hmm. software. Should we uh roll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on pow, was it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, missed it again. <laughs> okay. So um, uh, so we're gonna cut to the next group, and what happens is is your head drops, mm -hmm. and uh, we could we could kind of surmise that probably in the background your your software or whatever is rebooting. Mm -hmm. Um. Roll a d10. 10. Ten. Okay, so add that to your pal score. And then we'll Got go it. out to the desert. 
Sam, why are you shaking your head? It's going to be fine, Sam. All right. Uh, Sam, make a dex roll. You don't got to do this. He's shaking his head because it's the uh, only thing that still works on his body. Is <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Ouch. Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, I got a, let me see, 42 in my dicks. Uh, so it's a regular success. All right. Then roll on a regular success. You can roll a, ooh, roll a D6. <laughs> ooh, he said. That's, that's, not, that's not the sound you want the keeper to make. No, it's totally. Uh, that is a one. Oh, look at you. <laughs> All right. Uh, you feel this searing pain kind of okay. go up your left side as you fly off the horse and land with a thud on the ground. Oh. And Buddy and Johnny, all y'all see is this the shadowy form. Uh, y- y- y'all both give me spot hidden. I was going to say, because I had my gun drawn. So if I see something. Oh, you had your gun drawn. I had my gun drawn. Yeah, I said okay. that earlier. So if okay. I see something shootable, I'm going to shoot it. Like Sam falling to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully uh, hopefully not my friend then. Sam. Yeah, I, I would assume you'd, you'd probably fire at it. Do you want me to spot hidden first, though, to make sure because of the dark? Uh, it, the, the spot hidden's for something else. So do this. Fire at it and make a spot hidden. Do both. So fire first and then make a spot hidden. Is that literally shoot and then ask questions later? Is that what <laughs> Pretty you're much, having? yeah. I mean, I think that's what Johnny would do at this point. Yeah, no kidding. I haven't shot a gun in so long, I actually forgot where to look. <laughs> uh, it's down the bottom. <laughs> that's, a, that's a personal problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a, a hard success. Okay. And then... <laughs> uh, okay, so roll for damage, and then so tell me what you... So it's a 44 mag revolver. Oh. So... I give vault. How do I roll this? Uh, just in the meantime, um, I f- did not get my spot hidden. Um, Buddy's going to hop off the horse okay. um, because. And as you do, the horse shooting, goes up like yeah. it rears. Yeah, okay. shooting on horse is not a thing that Buddy's comfortable with. Okay. Um, so the idea is get off the horse, get stable, and then fire at the creature. Okay. All right. we gave I got 11 points. I got a six and a three plus two. Okay. And then wh- what did you, what'd you get on the spot hidden? And then the spot hidden. Again. 42. So I think I got a uh, regular success. Okay. So here's what happens. Uh, Sam, Y- y'all see this shadowy figure collide with Sam. Sam, you feel the searing rip up the side as you go flying off the horse and you mm-hmm. hit the ground with a hard thud. Cool. Uh, and you take two points of damage. Mm-hmm. Pretty lucky. Yeah, I think that's pretty lucky. Uh, and about the time as you hit, you hear a loud bang, right? That's, that's Johnny's gun going off as Buddy's sliding off the horse. His horse is rearing up. And Buddy, you think... You don't know. That shadowy form looks like it's probably 14 to 20 feet wide. It's massive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. You, you're just, it's all over the place. And um, Johnny, you take a crack at it. Um, as you do, the, the muzzle flash uh, flares off of this thing, and it's all wrong. It's shiny. It's not feathery. And um, it the blast definitely makes contact because after it hits uh, Sam, it goes kind of flailing off. And you're pretty sure that you got a, a good look at it and that uh, with its wings, it's probably in the 10 to 12 foot, foot range. Jesus. And after, okay. So, uh, Probably gonna have to roll to poop my pants, but do <laughs> oh, I have? Actually, yeah, you should make a sand roll. Yeah, I figure. Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot about that part. Well, that's that. I reminded you with the whole poop my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Since you missed your spot hidden, buddy, we'll let you pass. Okay. You play, it's big. I don't know. It's big. <laughs> You're like too concerned with getting off the horse. Yeah. Yeah, I missed. Okay, and then 
All right, that's unlike anything you've ever seen. Take three points off your sand score there. That just doesn't does not fit with any of your FBI experience. You're not reconciling it. So, all right. So then that probably would affect the, I was going to say, do I have a chance to get a second shot? But I'm not, I'm going to like pull my gun down and I'm just sort of staring. And then I'm going to just be like, what the fuck? So I'm like, I'm like freaking out a little bit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm losing my cool. If there's a clear shot, buddy's going to take it. It's it's really you, you could take one at disadvantage, but uh, you know the direction it flew off. Oh, it flew yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It, I like, thought it just moved yeah. back away from Sam. No, like his his shot like propelled it. it, it he knew it hit it because it went off in an awkward direction, but then it flew off. You would probably gotcha. have time to get one off in a disadvantage though, okay. if you want sure. to. Sure, why not? And, I, and and not for nothing, but I'm yelling like I hit I hit the fucking thing. I don't even know what I shot. God damn it! What was that thing? Oh, shit. So my first roll was a three, and my okay. second roll was a 29, which is a hard success. Wow. Okay. All right. Give me some damage on that. All right. Let's see here. We're going to make this thing twice before, think twice before it comes back to finish him off. Uh, that would be one plus two. So this plus two. Uh, so six. Okay. And so you fire. Uh, there's there's another big blast from behind you, Johnny, as you're kind of staring off in the direction from whatever just happened. And it, you don't know, buddy, but but you hear this sound kind of like... Uh, I was going to say, you said it's metallic, so do we hear like a bit of a clang? No, not metallic. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean metallic. I, I said shiny. Oh, shiny. Okay. Yeah. Like My bad. Shimmery. I probably just. Yeah. yeah no. No. It's, yeah. No. Like. Like. Um, like reptilian, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Um, and you hear something that that's kind of a cross between like a whinny and a rabbit screaming when it's in fear. Uh, it's just hmm. really it, the sound immediately makes you kind of shake and tremble. Weird. Doesn't sound okay. right. Yep. Nope. Okay. And so for what it's worth, I'm staying drawn and I'm like from where we heard that sound, I'm sort of staying with my gun drawn and I'm scanning. And I'm gonna be like, buddy, if you can't go check on Sam, see if he's dead. Okay. And so we'll kind of do an over a pull away shot of y'all assessing the situation in the low light and uh and then a little cut shot of Lancelot. Uh, rebooting and then we'll uh, end the episode well that was eventful Uh, that is going to do it for this episode of Under the Library until next time you can find us at underthelibrary.com don't forget to check out our amazing merch at our online store that's underthelibrary.com slash store so until next time for me, for Michael For Scott, for Rick, for Wayne, and for the absent Emily. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Under the Library. It's like Beetlejuice. If you say it three times, it pops up. And then out, and then in, and then out, and then in. You didn't say no. He did not like say no supposed, at all. You were supposed to say no, like say immediately. No. He still has not said no. Yeah, no. Do you remember Freddy's name? Freddy! Freddy! <laughs> they had a hoot nanny. They had a hoot nanny. I think you need to hit me. No fucking way. But sir, you're, you're all hat and no cattle. Uh, that don't track. I, I don't know what that means. I keep hitting the picture button, but there's no picture. There's no picture. I don't know. This good. Yeah, it's been a trip. It's been a trip. <laughs>